you live a very busy life, as do I. We've all been there juggling family, friends, work, personal responsibilities, and then also laundry, like what? Anyway, here's some things I do incorporate into my life to help keep me sane and uh, not lead to burnout, stress, and anxiety because those are not generally things we want in our life. First thing that really helps me is including some form of exercise in my daily routine, whether that's hitting the gym and lifting heavy weights, going on a run, taking a yoga class, playing a sport with a friend, or just doing any sort of physical activity that you don't really have to do, but it's fun. Exercise is an investment in your mental and physical health, so you won't just get results by uh, looking better or feeling uh, slightly healthier, but mentally it just makes you feel great, especially if you do at the start of the day. So I, on most mornings, I wake up, go to the gym, and then the rest of my day feels a lot better. And on days I don't go to the gym, it doesn't feel as good to just do my everyday tasks. So just do it. And if you're consistent, it will pay off mentally and you'll probably see results too. Reading is another great way of escaping the chaos and calming down generally. Pick up a book or an audiobook, fiction, non-fiction, manga, anything that you want to read that will help you get distracted and just zone out for a little bit. It's not particularly important what you read as long as it gets you distracted enough to not focusing on everything else around you and stressing about things that haven't happened yet or things that have happened but you can't really change anymore while you have other stuff to be worrying about. It's just a way to relax, unwind, maybe get some knowledge along the way. Reading is good. Also, this is going to be tough for some of you, but see your friends consistently. It's difficult enough doing everything that you do, but imagine doing it alone. That would probably make it worse. By having a supportive network of friends around you and seeing them every couple days, it will really, really, really help. Some of you may live with your family and it's just a good way to socialize with other people, share their experiences and just do something fun that isn't by yourself. This is why the exercise thing is good. Say you pick up a sport, you will probably have to play with your friends. You can't play a lot of sports by yourself. So spend quality time with your friends. Don't just go and sit in silence together unless that's something you're into have fun create memorable experiences and if you don't have any friends be nice talk to strangers most people are nice if you just try to talk to them and not be weird routine is also great i love having a routine because it means i'm not worried about what i'm doing on the day-to-day -day basis i just kind of wake up eat breakfast go to the gym go to the sauna go to work come home maybe record a video maybe not it makes everything else fit into place really nicely because you're not worrying about the next thing you're going to have to do you kind of just do things in the same order every day and set that up as a routine eventually and then your week-to-week -week life becomes a lot easier it's difficult to establish a routine that works for you and it might be difficult to cut things out and to make sure you're sleeping at the right time etc but once you do have one figured out it is really really helpful finally this is the one that a lot of you aren't gonna like doing because you don't think it's worth it but just take some time for self-care relaxation going to the pool going to the sauna you don't have to do it alone if you want you can go with a friend just take time to do things you enjoy actively play a video game at the end of the day watch a movie just anything you find truly fun where you're not worried about anything else and you're actively relaxing so this is still time spent productively eh, pro productively it's still time spent productively i think that's what i was trying to say in conclusion exercise read books talk to your friends have a routine and then also just do things you actually like doing it's a short video this week but don't worry about it i hope these things help keep you sane and i will see you next week